Alabama lawmakers met that deadline to draw new congressional districts, but did they do it right? Democrats say no way. Well, Republicans point to the district court order, which stated Alabama needed a second majority black district or something quite close to it. So black voters would have the opportunity to elect a candidate of their choice. Now, in the new map, District 7 has a slim black majority of 51%, but the black voter percentage in the newly refigured District 2 is 39.93%. Democrats say without at least 50% or a majority, black voters won't be able to elect a candidate of their choice. This vote is a defiant vote. It's one that dehumanizes a people. It dehumanizes a people that have struggled. If we knew exactly what to do, if they had given us a directive of this much percentage and, and make all, sure that all the communities of interest is together, as you heard in debate all week long, I mean, different people have different ideas of what communities of interest is. Well, I reached out to First District Congressman Jerry Carl to get his reaction. Now, with this newly drawn map, Representative Carl would lose Washington County from his district while gaining Covington County and keeping Mobile and Baldwin counties together. Congressman Carl releasing this statement to us saying, and we quote, I'm thankful to the legislature for working so hard to deliver a map to comply with the lousy ruling from the Supreme Court. While I am disappointed to lose some of my current constituents, I will not stop working as hard as possible for the people I represent, old or new. I am committed to fighting for our shared Alabama values in Washington." Unquote. Now, a federal district court could hear challenges to this map by next month.